Yep, so our story today is going to teach us some stuff about insects. Insects are what we're going to talk about this week. Here's the cover. <laughs> and what do you notice right here? The title is a question. Like that. Yeah, like on our message it was a question. Let's read the question. Are you listening? What do insects do? Four words. What do insects do? It is by Susan Canizaris and Pamela Chenko. All right, let's see what we can learn about insects. A bee is a type of insect. What? Do insects do? That's like the turtle. Oh, please don't tip on the turtle. They fly. jump. That is a grasshopper. Like you have to fly. They fly. Bees do fly. Lots of insects fly. They eat. What is this animal, this bug eating? Some sort of plant, right? Yeah. They drink. Yeah. 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 They cut. Look at this ant. It's using its colorful mouth, mouth to cut this leaf. It's a fire ant, you think? It looks kind of like a fire ant. They carry. So in one of our books last week, we learned that ants are actually the strongest animal. They can carry so much. They can carry a like, apple. Yeah, this little tiny ant looks like he's carrying an apple. I'm scared. Hi. I'm not scared of ants, but I'm scared of spiders. They fight. Look at these insects are fighting. They bite. Sometimes they bite, right? We've all had mosquito bites before. Yep, that's a mosquito. They build. I think that is an ant maybe building its ant hill where it lives at its home. <laughs> they hide. Can you see a bug on this page? It's camouflage. It's using camouflage to protect itself. It's like a green. It's, I think it's this leaf right here. What looks like a leaf is actually a bug. It's a bug. Yeah, this is its body. These are. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It looks like green beans. No. Insects. Look at you. It's looking at you. That's <laughs> new. Insects do lots of things, don't they? Hmm? It's just a book. It's not going to hurt me. Right? There are lots and lots and lots of things we can learn about insects, and hopefully we'll learn a little more this week, okay? An insect has how many legs? Six legs on an insect. So a spider has, has eight legs. So a spider is actually not an insect. It's called an arachnid. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right. So now I want to tell you about our new letter of the week. I know it's out. We did. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. This week we're gonna do letter L. L. Letter L. So, think about if you know what the letter L looks like. Hey, hey Gabe, it's my turn right now. So, the letter L is what my name starts with. It's also what the word love starts with. So, do you think that we need straight lines or curves for a letter L? Yes, we start with a long line down. And then we don't pick up our marker. We keep our marker there at the bottom of the line and we do a short line across. And that's it. Easy peasy. And, and then guess what? The lowercase L is even easier than that. It's just a long line. It's just a long line. Done. That's it. Well, that's it. It's a pretty easy letter to make, huh? Yeah, long line, short line for uppercase, and just a long line for uppercase. Can you believe how easy that is? Now, let me tell you, also, the sound of the letter L is pretty fun. The first thing you do, the first thing you do is make an L with your finger and your thumb. Can you make an L with your finger and your thumb? Make an L with your finger and your thumb. And then you go like this. Ooh. Like you're licking a lollipop. Because when you say the L sound, you kind of have to stick your tongue out, right? Keep your mask on if you have one on. But when you're making the L sound, you kind of have to, do you feel how you have to kind of stick your tongue out? Ooh. That's the sound of letter L. Can you think of a bug that starts with Ooh. A ladybug. Yes. And one of our activities today is going to be with a ladybug. I know. It's going to be the small table.